All right, our next presenter is Evan Sproul, who is a third year PhD student in mechanical engineering. He hopes to pursue a research career focused on creating sustainable products. And the title of his presentation is Engineering a Solution to the Greenhouse Gas Problem. I'm an engineer, and as an engineer, I love to solve problems. The problem that I'm fixated on solving right now is reducing greenhouse gas emissions and trying to slow climate change. Now, whether you're in an academic environment like this or you're just reading the news, the term greenhouse gas is almost impossible to escape. For me as an engineer, it's extra important because I know that every time an engineer designs and manufactures a new product, some amount of greenhouse gases are emitted into the atmosphere where they contribute to climate change. Now, when we think about introducing greenhouse gases into the engineering design process, we have to consider the fact that the engineering design process isn't built to account for greenhouse gases. So although it may come as a surprise to you, I'm very concerned with greenhouse gases, but I've experienced that the majority of engineers don't account for greenhouse gases at all when they design and manufacture new products. The problem here is that the engineering design process is typically built on three primary categories. It's a balance between the cost of your design, the time it takes to complete your design, and of course, the physical performance of whatever product you're designing. Unfortunately, greenhouse gases doesn't fit well into any of those three categories. To address this challenge, I'm trying to bring two very different worlds together and create an interdisciplinary solution that will help engineers. These two worlds are these standard engineering design processes and broad economic models that attempt to predict and quantify future damage from greenhouse gases. Now the advantage to quantifying the economic damage of greenhouse gases is that now we have a cost in dollars that can be pulled into one of our three categories of our engineering design process. To demonstrate the impact of this sort of thinking, I have applied the cost of greenhouse gases to the product of electricity. In doing so, I found that when we consider these costs on electricity generated at a coal-fired power plant, the price of that electricity should go up by 75%. Now on the surface, this 75% increase may sound like a bad thing. But I think it's a good thing, because I think it more accurately represents the true cost, not just to a consumer, but to society as a whole. In addition, it allows engineers like myself to make comparisons between coal electricity and electricity from other sources, such as solar and wind, which have traditionally been more expensive, but produce far fewer greenhouse gas emissions. To be clear, my objective with this research is not to push a specific technology or a specific product. Instead, I'm simply trying to get engineers to think more holistically so that they can start to engineer a true solution to the greenhouse gas problem. Thank you.